There have been cases of animal abuse seen throughout the entire nation, and the number of animal abuse throughout the years has been increasing in its percentage. Just last April, there were 77 cases of animal abuse, and 13 cases of which involves cats. The many challenges that a cat may have to go through would be being physically abused and left to heal by themselves. But how many of these cats are lucky enough to be rescued and recover, let alone heal? There are various degrees of abuse. Um, some people use cigarettes to burn cats, you know, because they're coming near them. So just uh, people throw things on them, oil. I mean, we've seen some with petrol, and you you would hope the intentions are not to burn this cat. I think one of the odd ones we saw was probably cement on the cat, and the cement was hardened, and then we have to take it off, shave. And of course, these things are painful. You cannot do them while the cat is awake. You have to put them under anesthetic. If someone has kicked the cat, the internal organs could be bleeding, the bladder could be ruptured, you know, and they are stray cats. So if somebody doesn't pick them up and somebody doesn't bring them, they're going to die at the side of the road. There are many ways that one would abuse a cat, and the common one would be throwing of small pebbles towards an approaching or sleeping cat. Other mean tricks are also being carried by these bullies to just please themselves. Just last April, a cat was found with wounds on its back and is believed to be made due to scalding. Not many cats are lucky to be saved by passing residents and most would be left to suffer. I don't think so. I'm wondering why they do that, but I have no idea what to do Maybe there. if kids do that, we will stop. Um, well, it's never happened to me before, so it's hard to say, but yes, I'd probably say something. I would stop them. Um, aside from smacking the fella left, right, centre, <laughs> call SPCA or the police. And I guess if you ever come across them, it's probably a good idea to report to the SPCA Cat Welfare Society that these things are happening. You know, if it looks like it's going to die, there's not really much you can do. Of course, take it off the road because, again, it's injured, it can't walk off. If it's been hit by a car, you don't want it to be constantly being run over. That's even worse. Uh, you can't really give any pain relief or anything. you got to bring it to the closest vet clinic. The unlucky cats that are left unfound tend to die of a terrible death, where the pain slows them from breathing to finally stopping completely. Do something to change the society's views of cats. We can make a difference. Always be on a lookout to protect these precious lives. Value them like how we value ours. Thank you.